you just bought a webcam so you could start streaming and you plug in your computer, open up OBS and add it to OBS and the camera looks like this. Yeah, not so good looking of a camera, is it? But in this video, I got three easy tips for you. Take your camera from this over to this. Stay with me, I got you. Hey guys, my name is Andrew, and today hopefully I'm gonna be helping you out making your camera look professional when it comes to your live stream. Now I got three easy tips for you, and really, they're quite simple. If you have any questions about this, I stream every Wednesday and Friday over at Twitch, link in the description below. Feel free to stop by, I'll answer any questions for you. To start this off, let's go to tip number one, lighting huge i don't care if you have a thousand dollar camera it's not gonna look good if you don't have lighting 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 everyone will tell you to make your camera look better just get a light what you can do is you can purchase some led panels over on amazon 40 50 bucks maybe even a little cheaper pick up one of those maybe two of those put them around you boom your lighting is gonna look that much better so that's step one lighting do it you have to now let's go over to OBS for step two. So here we are in OBS and as you can see, camera's not looking great at all, but we've already done step one and we've got all the light and figure out. So it does look a little bit better than it did before. So once you're in OBS and you've added your camera, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on your camera. The window is going to pop up again. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into configure video. Now a properties box of the camera is gonna pop up and there's a few things that we're gonna tweak in here. So number one, biggest thing that you're gonna to wanna to uncheck is white balance. Get rid of that. You don't want auto white balance, it's horrible. Uh, and then you're gonna to wanna to move this, depending on your lighting situation, it's gonna be a little different for everyone, but for my situation where I'm located and how much sunlight and lights that I have going on here, I like to move it right around 6,000. Fun fact that every time that you restart your computer, all this goes back to how it was originally. So every time you restart your computer and you open up OBS and you realize, oh my gosh, my camera looks like doo-doo again. Just double click on the camera, open this back up and you'll change all these settings again. So 6,000 is fine. I got annoyed and this only goes up to 6,500. So just to make it easy so I don't have to set it all the way, I just crank it all the way to the right. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to the camera control tab and there's only two boxes checked. And guess what? You're gonna uncheck both of those. First one being autofocus. You don't want that on. You're sitting in one spot the whole time while you're streaming, so turn it off. You're gonna get that pulsation, whatever goes on with that camera, trying to figure out if it wants to focus or not focus on you. And it's real annoying to watch, but especially if the whole screen is just the camera. So turn that off. It's annoying. No one likes it. So the biggest thing here in the properties is the camera exposure. Now, as soon as I uncheck this box, you're going to see a little bit of a difference. Not too much there. Maybe you won't even be able to tell once YouTube renders this down. But I'm going to drop this down just a little bit more here to get a little bit more of a negative exposure. And as you can see, that already has made my camera look a, that much better. I'm not gonna go too far down, then it gets too dark and then it's it's, it's gonna get too grainy. Uh, but I feel like just dropping it down just one, typically by default, it's set on negative five. So just dropping it down just one really helps the way the camera looks a lot. So after you're done, go ahead, hit apply. Okay, hit okay, get out of that. And as you can see, the camera is looking better. Still not great, but it is looking better. For 50 bucks, you could stop right there and you could probably be happy with it. Moving on to step three, here's where you, you kind of tweak with the brightness and the contrast a little bit, which is gonna help give this camera a little bit more character, a little bit more color depth. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the camera within OBS and you're going to hit filters. Once you're in here, you're going to apply an effect filter. Obviously it's going to be color correction here. Go ahead and you can name it whatever you want. I always keep it 
default because I know what color correction is. I can just go right to it. I know what it is. So within here, you're going to see a bunch of different things. Don't let it scare you. Some people see things and they're just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to touch anything. Play around with this. Typically what I like to do here though, and again, like I said, play around with this, see what you want, see what you like, see what fits your lighting situation and where your setup and everything is. But typically I like to go with my gamma anywhere between a, about a negative 0.1 to a negative 0.2. Um, but I'm going to keep it right there at negative 0.1 contrast. I like to bring that up ever so slightly, not too much, no more than this here. Brightness. I like to bring it down some, I feel like it's still just a little too bright and then saturation, get these colors to pop, but not look too orange. I like to bring this no more, uh, no more than about 0.2. And that's really going to make the colors pop here. Let me move this out of the way. And then I'm going to turn on and off the, the color correction. So you can kind of get an idea of how this is going to look. So color correction on, off, on, off, on, off, on. As you can see, it just makes the camera look that much better. I mean, for $50, I mean, you are, you, you get what you pay for type deal, but Again, it's it's not bad for fifty dollars once you get all this stuff configured. And it's doable for sure, especially when you're starting out and you're on a budget. Perfectly fine. That's it for step number three. Keep color correction on, close it out, move your camera around where you want it to be, and you should be good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much setting up your camera within OBS to make it look that much better. And really wasn't too hard, was it? But that is it for this video uh, if you have any questions over this feel free to you know jump in my twitch ask me a question i stream every wednesday and friday link in the description below and yeah thank you for sticking around to the end and as always be excellent last player standing Come on, just, 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 just do it to a minute. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>